Uh, so let me start. I mean, why I chose to come to Bradford. Um, one of the reasons uh, uh, why I chose Bradford was uh, Bradford was having a very good ranking in uh, FT. Yeah. So that was a, one of the reasons which I which forced me to choose Bradford. Uh, choose Bradford. And um, I interacted with students who have already mm -hmm. passed from Bradford. So they gave me very positive feedback about Bradford. So this was another positive point for me. And um, along with all these things, Bradford is one of the cheap and best university. The expenditure over here is really very low compared to other universities. Uh, so these are the reasons which forced me to choose, to choose Bradford. Bradford. Yeah. How about you? Definitely. I would say the FT rankings is the one that made me choose Bradford. And I have just three years work experience and a lot mm -hmm. of uh, my criteria was adopted in business schools in UK mm -hmm. and Bradford uh, has accepts students with varied backgrounds which is rather interesting given a lot of other business schools focus on certain areas. Mm -hmm. So that was another reason I chose Bradford and of course the fees and it's quite cheap so living costs here is very low so that was another reason. Well um, I would say that third semester when we had a lot of uh, exchange students coming over here mm -hmm. so that was really a good experience we have people from uh, Singapore China France yes. Germany mm -hmm. so that was really a good experience for what us did you learn from them? Uh, apart from our code modules or mm -hmm. the subjects we had to learn a lot of things culturally mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, sure. at personal levels yeah. so it helps us to understand the cultural differences mm -hmm. which will definitely help us in um, our job in future yeah. so I think that uh, it helped in that way the European bash uh, mm -hmm. last semester yeah. the kind of viewpoints that we came across from them mm -hmm. was very different from the way we would perceive a situation mm -hmm. which was very interesting for us mm -hmm. very new and very interesting we got to interact with uh, different nationalities and different uh, the way dynamics that all of us shared mm -hmm. very good uh, well, in the first semester when we came here, uh, it was a lot of difference in terms of teaching style. Yes. I'm from India, so over there the main focus is on written examinations. Yeah. Over here is a mix of both written examination and uh, assignments. Yeah. So initially it was a challenge, but uh, the career services definitely they help us, they guide us how to um, um, how to go ahead with all these things, and uh, definitely the time management skills taught by career. Uh, carry councils over here. Definitely. Martin Sesley, definitely. So it helped. Yeah. So I would say initially it was a problem, but uh, definitely, I mean, we learned how to cope with it. So it was a really, really a good experience for us. Indian study system does not have the concept of assignments, it's always exams. Mm -hmm. So we had to do Harvard referencing, which was very new to us, to review mm -hmm. journals, to put together, uh, to have a critical analytical approach without mm -hmm. exactly being descriptive mm -hmm. was a rather tricky situation for most of us. Mm -hmm. And especially for semester, you're new, the country is new, mm -hmm. you're just getting to know each other, settling in a place, mm -hmm. everything just, just bombards you from everywhere. Mm -hmm. So his sessions, I would say, the uh, first few sessions were very effective mm -hmm. really gave us a direction to approach the assignments understand what part of the journals and books that we come across what what to pick and use in our assignments and what to be uh, left left of, uh, behind yeah. his sessions absolutely useful I would definitely say that uh, I agree well uh, apart from the core modules and the elective modules um, the one of the special thing about Bradford is it has a module called PDP which is personality development program mm -hmm. so in this we need to choose three of our skills in which we feel and there's a lot of mm, improvement which we can make mm -hmm. so mm, as a result of PDP I chose my three skills as time management mm -hmm. and um, my foreign language mm -hmm. and my CV mm -hmm. CV development mm -hmm. so I worked on these three skills all through 10 months last 10 months mm -hmm. and it definitely helped me I, I learned German uh, oh. a basic level <laughs> wow. and I feel confident that definitely in future I'll get more opportunities yeah. uh, to learn German and definitely I'll get stronger in German it'll increase my chances for job in uh, uh, many other countries and um, with CV development I feel definitely my I have Im improved a lot in terms of my CV I made it CV and I went to them for a review and they told me that uh, over here I can improve and uh, these points are not valid mm -hmm. so I worked on those uh, over three four sessions and definitely it has shaped in a very I mean good way 
to add to his point about the language mm. sessions, I think most of the class took different different languages, mm. and when the European batch arrived, mm. uh, all of us got to interact in those languages. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really could practice our test, spoken. Yeah. Yes, we could test yeah. how good we were. And a more serious note, um, I'll say career services, the CV style, Indian CV again is very different. The way we, uh, the points are put across. And if most, I think as I'm looking for a job in UK, so mm. for me, the CV services they provide, uh, Julia, I, m all my sessions have been with Julia Davis. Mm. Very clear, very apt. Uh, they don't even look at your previous CV because they're very sure mm. it's back f from India, but mm. they'll tell you, okay, this is where you need to improve and these are the exact bullet points where you need to change. And that was uh, very beneficial to me.